Hi, welcome to Informatica Cloud Support videos. Today we'll be looking into how to set up a master and sub organization in Informatica Cloud. Before we get on to master sub organization setup, let's have a look at what an organization or a tenant ID means. Typically in SaaS world, when a user gets registered to a subscription in SaaS application, an organization or a tenant ID is provided and the first user which gets registered eventually becomes an administrator user. Similarly, in Informatica Cloud, when you register for the first time, an organization ID is given to recognize a given customer account and the first user becomes administrator. Later on, you can create as many users as you would like to have with different roles in a given organization. In this video, we'll be looking at how we can go ahead and create a new account using Informatica Cloud login page and registering through it and how we'll be creating a sub org or linking an existing org as a sub org for a master org and what are the use or advantages of master and sub org what is master or sub org and what is a hierarchy when you look at a larger customer account where you need more than one org or a service reseller or a redistributor or an OEM partner wherein the Informatica services and platform features are redistributed to many clients and each client can have their own organization ID. When the total number of organizations are more then there is a demand wherein we need to have a feature which can be used to easily support license these organizations under a given service partner or a reseller, redistributor or a OEM vendor. This is where exactly master and sub organization hierarchy fits in. The major advantages of using master and sub or hierarchy is you can easily maintain the client orgs for ease of licensing, support, you will have a better control on task deployment. The organization structure, the reporting format is easily manageable. As a next step, let's go ahead and try to register a new user. Open a browser and hit on Informatica Cloud login page. In the login page, you'll see a hyperlink, don't have an account. Click on that and the browser will lead you to a registration or a sign up page for Informatica Cloud. Here, you need to provide your email ID and other details like user ID name in order to register. I am going to provide the basic details in order to get me registered to Informatica Cloud. As I click on start your free trial, the sign up process begins and it takes you to the confirmation page over here which does mean that you had received an email for confirmation. The confirmation or a welcome email looks something like this. Click on the direct login link which takes you to the first time login page. Hit login. It will ask for resetting your new password and a secret question so that you can use it if you had forgot your password. After filling the details, click on OK. Now that you had logged in to your new Informatica Cloud registered user page. Once you had created your Informatica Cloud user, you need to contact your sales account rep or Informatica support in order to get your organization licensed for master and sub org hierarchy. In this case, I have an account which or a user which does have Informatica master sub org hierarchy license being enabled. I am going to use this particular user in order to log in.
I had logged in. And now we are going to go to administer suborganization section in order to create a new suborganization. And we'll also look into the option of linking an existing suborganization. To create a new suborganization, click on new. And it will provide the list of attributes that you need to fill in. I'm going to fill in the organization name, description as first sub org creation, address Once you had filled in all the mandatory details, click on OK. When you click on OK, the organization ID gets generated. As you could see, for the given suborg name, a new organization ID has been generated. Now, you being a master org with of user ys underscore demo1 at informatica.com, you can go ahead and support, maintain, or license any features for a given suborganization. You can edit using the edit button or license all the available license features that you have for your master arc to your suborganization. You can go ahead and unlink a suborganization when you do that this suborganization would become an independent org. You can delete a given suborganization. In order to perform a delete, you might need to log in using the admin user of a given suborganization. Now that we had only created a suborg, we don't have any users for this suborg. And once you had created the suborg, you would see the suborg is listed and the list of organization drop down. What it does mean is, being a master arc, you do have the privilege to get onto the sub arc and view all the artifacts. Now, I am going to go into the sub arc as a master arc and click on administer users section. As we see, there is no user over here, we will be creating a new user ID. I'm creating a user called wires underscore demo3. I'm confirming the user ID. Typing in the password. And selecting a user role, clicking OK. Now a user has been created for a given sub arc. Let me go back to the master arc and click on administer sub arc to see all the existing sub arc available, which is currently only one. Now I would like to link an existing organization which is an independent organization to the given master arc. You need to click on link existing organization option and I am going to provide the organization ID over here. This is the organization which we created in the start of this video. We will click OK. Now, Informatica is asking for user ID and password, which would provide here, and click OK. Once it gets authorized, 
it adds the independent organization as a sub-arc. Now, after we try to link the other arc, you could see in the drop-down, there are two sub-arcs being listed. Now, let's try to unlink the sub-arc 1, which we added to this master arc. You need to click on the unlink button over here. It's going to show you the organization ID and the organization name. Click on OK. Provide the username, which has the administrator role. Type in the password. Click OK. And the sub arc gets unlinked and it becomes an independent arc. In this demo, we saw that we registered a user and created an arc. And we tried to use a master arc and linked the registered arc and also tried to create a new sub arc. And then we tried to also unlink the existing sub arc from the master arc. This covers all the scenarios of linking and unlinking a given sub arc. To give a note to the user, the license of a given sub-arc can be managed from the master arc and master arc can only give those licenses which it has provisioned from Informatica Cloud. Thank you for watching this video. We love to hear back from you and you can provide your feedback at twitter.com infasupport or email us at supportvideos at informatica.com.